Yeah, it looks- uh, I don't like her. She has saggy boobies. Look at how perky my boobies and how saggy hers are. Hey, hey, hey! What is going on, you sexy beast? Fatima here, and welcome to Sakura Dungeon! Now, this is a game that was recommended to me by one of my fans, Jacob Lesser. So, yeah, we got the game, so let's enjoy this together! This Sakura game is a little bit different from the previous ones that we play now, because this one has actual freaking gameplay in it! There is a gaming component, there's like an RPG, uh, dungeon crawling element to the game so this is gonna be freaking cool man this is gonna be incredible and uh, one more thing before we get started now uh, i also downloaded a patch which brings back the adult scenes into the game so you know we might see some girl and girl action and stuff so yeah so let's get started shall we all right so let's start this let's get this party in a row all right so let's see we have normal hard and abysmal difficulty level let's go with hard because i'm i'm getting hard right now already i'm getting hard already guys okay <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> all right uh, da, 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 da. Huh? Is this long dream finally over? What happened to me? How much time has passed? I cannot for say I cannot say for sure. But I can tell that I have not been awake for a very long time. That's right. I'm beginning to remember now. Why does every visual novel start with a sleeping? Why, why, why? It's like pitch black. Oh, this is a nice room, okay. Uh, a oh my god! Oh, who is that foxy girl right there? Man, I wanna wrap her tail around me and roll around it, holy shit. And damn, look at her freaking outfit, what is that? Damn, it's like some kind of a kimono outfit or shrine maiden outfit. Look at that, her titties are popping out and shit. Okay, alright. I rubbed the sleep away from my eyes, my blurred vision slowly focusing. That was a good night. wait, 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 wait. I woke up, that's a good... No, that's me! That's my character! Oh man, I'm a sexy foxy lady, yo! Foxy lady, yo! <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, I'm just fucking kidding. Alright, now, uh, it's then that I noticed someone else standing in the room. You, you, you monster! <laughs> a woman clad in silver armor is pointing a sword at me. Uh-oh, guys, it looks like we have like a Fudinara here. We have a dick girl. She has a fucking sword hidden underneath that very, very short skirt of her. Look at that! <laughs> oh, shit. Now, she is kind of rude concerning that I just woke up. I, I, I challenge you. Uh, I can't help but ignore her for a moment. Looking behind me, I see a shrine with a crystal at its center. Oh, oh man, this, yeah, this, you know what? This, this kind of reminds me of, uh, looks like a dildo or something. It looks like a dildo or some kind of a butt plug. Man, where did she stick that up? Holy shit. Uh, tapping the strange crystal, I feel my fingers go numb. Oh, that's probably why it's a dildo, because it makes whatever touches numb. Oh, man, <laughs> right, ladies? Uh, 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 uh. Now, tell me, <laughs> tell me, what did you do inside this room? Uh, I solved the puzzle and you emerged from the mist which came out of it. Oh, boy. So it seems like I was sealed in a puzzle. I have no idea how this puzzle worked, but this woman was capable of figuring it out. But enough of that. I, I, I know what I know not what you are, but I will defeat you. Do 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 do. Okay. Now I there's one thing I want to mention is uh this 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 beginning part is gonna be very text heavy. Um, it's probably gonna be like 20 25 minutes until we reach our first battle. And yeah, so I I, I just want to let you guys know that's okay. Oh, so you're an adventurer, eh? I look her up and down. Uh, she does look like the type. So you can obviously tell that she trained really hard, really hard, but not hard enough, obviously, because my character is the best. Uh, every single one of her movements are precise and, e and efficient. You know my name, Fox. I am Siri, the adventuring knight. Da -da 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 da 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 <laughs> Oh man, we need a theme song for Siri. Now, if you're an, an adventurer, you'd be up to date on Korean events, right? I don't understand what, why you're asking that, but yes. Tell me, adventurer, what did the domain of Queen Isis appear in the, to the dunes? Oh my god, we have Isis here. Damn, man. Oh, ho, ho. oh man, we gotta be careful, otherwise may, we might get our head cut off. Now, she looks at me dumbfounded. Eh, hey, what a bizarre question. Uh, that was during my, during, that was during the mythical time. Hundreds, if not thousands of years. Holy shit, we were trapped in that crystal for 1,000 freaking years. Oh, so it has been a while then. Several hundred years, yes, trapped in that big pink dildo, or butt plug. I wonder what has changed while I have been asleep. Uh, do you even know or care that I'm here? Stop insulting me! She brings her blade down in an arcing slice. Oh, oh, damn! I step aside, avoiding it completely. Oh, God! Okay, 
So with this game, uh, in the battle aspect, the, 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 the combat aspect, when you get damaged, when you get hurt, your clothes, your armor like gets torn off. Isn't that fucking awesome? All right. Ah, uh, bye. Uh, she looks at where I was standing. Ha, ha, how? So fast. Oh, it seems my power is missing. I can feel the magic pulsing through the room around me. My magic has been siphoned while I was asleep. Oh man, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess since you have a dildo up your ass, probably, yeah. That's <laughs> that's a siphoning device. Ah, uh, that's not good. It seems that I'm going to have a lot of questions to ask when I get back to town, presuming it's still there. Oh, okay. I still have enough power to defend myself against this adventurer, though, however. Grabbing the hilt of her sword, with both hands she swings at me again like a bl blind man. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. Are we gonna lose some clothes? Can you, can you, can you please stop that? Hmm. Oh, come on, hit me. I wanna lose my clothes. Again, again, she keeps swinging. She's fast, very fast. Oh man, that's what she said. For a human, at least. However, she could, she isn't able to keep up with me. No, 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 you can't be this fast. Why not? Well, you, you, you just can't be. She's quivering anxiously right now. De Damn it! Ignore me for a moment, she looks behind herself. No, I can't run away! She steals herself. Face me, monster! She charges at me, brandishing her sword carelessly. I've had enough of this. Whoa, damn, she's like making some kind of a magic right there. Holy shit. Now, in my hand, a swirling orb of water forms. Oh, are we, are we gonna hit her with the water? <laughs> it's like a water balloon launching my hands launching from my hands the orb hits the adventurer in the chest Oh, is, is she gonna get wet or something? Are we gonna like, see through her outfit? Damn, come on. Give us a scene <laughs> And the force sends her flying her the, the force of it sends her flying back across the room her armor shatters into pieces <gasps> Dude, she's wet and her armor shattered into pieces. Oh, come on. Give us a cutscene. Oh, since I have to patch that that means she she might be naked I slowly walked over looking down as she lays on the ground. Come on, come on, cutscene. She tries to stand back up, but she is unable to muster the strength to do so. Uh, she doesn't look, but she doesn't look afraid. Well, she should be because you are in fear factor. <laughs> ah, that's a bad joke. No, no, Vanny. <laughs> in fact, she's looking at me dead in the eye. So, so this is it then. Uh, I knew this day was going to come eventually. <laughs> Despite her obvious pain, she forces a smile. <laughs> well, you're my last opponent. Could I at least get one last request? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be gentle with you. But, you know, we all know where this is going to go. There's some girl-girl action, right? Girl-girl. I think you misunderstand my intentions. No, man, my intentions are clear. We want to get up and... Oh, holy shit, her fucking outfit is torn up. Damn, look at her. Oh, look at her skirt. It's all messed up. Wait, she's not wearing underwear. Wow, she's going, she's going commando style. Holy shit. Even though this woman is hostile, I have no intention of ending her life. From my lips, ancient words spar. Whoa, she did a little spell thing again. Mana envelops the room, slowly encircling on the falling night. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? Well, we're casting a magic spell on you, that's what we're doing. Darkness, flashiness. Eventually, I finish the spell and the mana dissipates. Come on, get up. Wait, what, wait, whoa, whoa, what happened here? Well, don't be... Her body responds then and stands up right. That's right, you're a woman now. I made you a woman, Siri. <laughs> oh, but, 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 uh, what? My my body did that on its own. What did he do to me? Sorry, I had to test if the spell worked correctly and you're like the test subject. What spell? What did he do? It's a binding spell, a magical contract between you and I. Oh, she's my slave, isn't it? From this day forward, you're my subordinate and I am your master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice. You may call me Yomi. Yes, Master Yomi. I use a lot of my power on this spell, so I'm going to be relying on you, Siri. I'm your what? Yeah, you're my bitch. <laughs> so releasing me, release me from the spell immediately. Sorry, but I cannot release the spell right now. First of all, we need to get you somewhere safe. Let's see if I still have it. Oh, yes, we don't want you, you know, walking around in, in tatters like that. But then again, my outfit isn't that much better. Check in one of my pockets. I can't help but smile when I see it. Here it is. I grab the knight by her arm. Yes, it's a dildo. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Please tell just tell me what's what's going on. Don't worry, you know, I'm just gonna stick this in, you know. I'm, I'm gonna make it, you know, uh, lick it a little bit to make it wet. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 stop it, Vladimir. Three, two, one. <laughs> the warp stone inside my rope begins to resonate. Oh man, I have a warp stone down here too, and it's beginning to res. Uh, fuck it, Vadiwa. Damn it. Shut up, Vadiwa. You're no, you're not funny. One moment we're standing in that room. And next, we're standing in my hometown. Holy shit, there's freaking crystals growing out here. Okay, Wh where where are we? Somewhere safe. This is the town where I passed through earlier. Where? Why here of all places? Oh, good to know that the illusion spell is still working then. What's even better is this town is still standing. Illus illusion spell? I, I don't understand what you mean by... She slumps her shoulder in defeat. Well, it's somewhere safe, but what does this town mean to you, Fox? Hey, I have a name. I'm not Fox. I'm Yomi. You better save my name, Master Yomi, or you're going to get punished. There's humans here, so wouldn't this place be unsafe for you? Not at all. I founded this town myself. Oh my god, you're a founder? We need to disguise the dungeon's entrance, so this was our solution. The, the dungeon entrance? Wait, are, are you telling me that you're... A dungeon lord? <laughs> I'm the dungeon master. I'm the DM, guys. I was, at least. I'm guessing that is no longer the case. My collection to the dungeon has been severed like a you know, woman cu cutting off a guy's dick. Uh, so, <laughs> so that was that only means one thing. I've been usurped. Suri just stares at me in disbelief. Such a thing can happen? Sometimes, yes. Now let me guess, you were just there to clear out the monsters? Well, yeah, but I failed miserably. Yeah, you're failure. You should go kill yourself. Yeah, that's good actually. Our goals are the same. Anyways, I do not like you see. I do not like seeing you walk around in tatters. You know, there might be some like old pervy man walking around. Yeah, man, it's dangerous. E even though it's daytime, it's dangerous. Now let's get you cleaned up. Yes, there's a river in the background, a stream. Let's you know you could jump in. You could take off your clothes, take a shower. I won't peek. I promise. Come on, give us a freaking cutscene. Cutscene. I take her with me to the inn. Ah, we have an inn. Oh, oh yeah, I am the creator of the town. As I step inside, everyone goes silent. Everyone immediately stands up and rushes to the entrance to, you know, get like a cheap, like a cheap feel or something. <laughs> oh man, are we gonna get a scene? One particular figure stands out among them, and then other than Isabella, my innkeeper. Oh, okay. Oh, my hum my humble master, is that you? <laughs> I'm talking like I'm like a, a sniveling little uh, servant. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Okay, so she oh she's like a bi like a like a like a like a, like a beer wench or something like a beer whore. Yeah, it looks. Uh, I don't like her. She has shaggy boobies. Look at how perky my boobies and how saggy hers are. Like, mine's is all pushed up and stuff. Anyways, really, really, really. Who else would it be, Isabella? Cheers erupted from the inn. Sorry to keep you all waiting. You know I was trapped in a dildo after all. Nah, uh, we we didn't know what happened to you. One day you were here, and then you disappeared. And then, just so sudden, where have you been? I was still inside this abandoned room in a dildo. I do not remember how and how that happened, but I think it will work out. Uh, I, I see. The important thing is you're okay. We're so glad to have our dungeon lord back. I'm, 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 I, 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 I'm so glad to see you all again. However, there is a problem at hand. Yes? Unfortunately, in your absence, someone else has taken your dungeon from you. Oh man, really? I've heard of things. I heard things are really bad down there right now. Siri just stares at them. Oh yeah, she's like, uh, no one knows her yet. Oh, look at the little cute little pose she's doing. She's like crossing her legs right there. She's like all shy and stuff. <laughs> Everyone's probably all staring at her. It's like, oh man, look at that. Uh, you, you, you were all monsters. Like I said, illusion spell. Since you're currently my subordinate, you can see through it. She appears to be in a state of shock. Oh man, she's getting all wet, wet or something. Shock. <laughs> oh yes, uh, we served her earlier. What is she doing with you? She's the one who released me. So now I've decided that she's gonna work for me from now on. That sounds so horrible. We should be like, giving her like a reward or something for releasing her, uh, us or whatever. It's not like for you to take humans for servants. Well, I do have a good feeling about this girl. She's looking kind of pale. And it looks like you two had a bit of an argument. Yes, the argument that we win, guys. Please to see please see, see to her needs. No problem. I am more too happy to serve you, my humble master. Mm. 
She leads Siri away to a separate room. I have a hot bath for you ready right away. Oh man, that must be a shower scene right there. Sour scene, sour scene right there. I should be able to mend this armor too. Okay, ah, come on, Siri, don't be so sad. We're gonna see you naked, maybe. You know, because we have a patch, a little shower scene, naked, come on. That sounds fine, ah. Uh, sour scene, sour scene, sour scene. No. I mean, no, no, okay, okay. I'll... Man, this, this game is such a cock tease. You know, after a hot bath and fresh change of clothes, Siri looks like she has recovered from her shock. Yeah, you're, you're, you're strangely hospitable for monsters. Yeah, that normally would have cost me hundreds of gold pieces. Well, you know, they all work for me and you now work for me. So, you know, you know, you're, you're a slave of benefit, you know. <laughs> we look after our own around here. Now then, Siri, let's get down to business. Yes, let's get you, let's get all that armor off of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I know you aren't going to like this, but we have to work together now. You want to clear out the dungeon and I want to get my dungeon back. I do not think this is unreasonable, unreasonable, to, and bleh, unreasonable to join forces, do you? She goes silent for a moment. While I find the idea of working for a monster completely absurd, I, I, know, I, I know that there's one... There, I know that there's nothing I could do about the spell that you place on me. Yeah, I, well, 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 what would happen if Siri disobeys? Does she, like, get shot? Does she, like, get killed? Or is she unable to resist? Now, as, as it, and it is, as you said, we share a common goal. To defeat the monster reigning over this dungeon. So I see no point in being angry about things I cannot change. I accept this bargain. Yeah, that's a good girl. Accept your fate. It makes me very glad to hear that, Siri. Uh, you look like you're quite experienced with dungeon delving, so I'm sure your expertise will be useful. Ah, yes, I, it did me no good against you. Oh, look, at she's sucking up to us. She's sucking up to a master already. You're not a brown noser. Oh, man, she... <laughs> if, uh, I haven't had a real chance in, in a long time, and it's gone to my head. Perhaps this experience is this what I need. Yeah, she's... Man, if she's, like, brown nosing... If she's brown nosing even more, her fucking entire head will be in my ass. Sometimes you need to take a blow to your pride. It cannot hurt now, then, can it? Humility is the only way to we can prove ourselves. She lets out a bitter laugh for he 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 he. Uh, I would like to have learned this lesson a different way. Oh, you want uh, you want me to teach you a lesson? I'll teach you a lesson. You know, I have uh, you know I have a lot of stuff in my pockets, like dildos. <laughs> As I said, there's no point in complaining about circumstances that you cannot change. Anyways, if you need some time before we begin our adventure, I understand. I uh, please feel feel free to use any of these services that we have here. Thank you. Mm. Now I think the first thing I need is a drink. All right, all right, but make sure you know. Be careful. There's a lot of pervy men in this bar. You know. <laughs> uh, she wanders off to the bar. Then, while this entire situation isn't ideal, I can't help but be excited. Yes, yes. She's getting moist right there. She's getting wet. Uh, several hundred years is plenty of times for things to change. There could be a, an entire new human kingdom out there. New monsters that I could meet, new food that I could fuck, new creatures and people that I could fuck. Wait, did I say that already? That I could eat? New food that I... <laughs> oh, very well. It, it's, it's as if I've stepped into another world. While I cannot say that I was happy to be sealed, I want to make the most of my experience. Oh yeah, we want to we experience all those sausages out there, guys, and all those tacos. <laughs> so let's see what lies ahead. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, so finally right now, we're getting to a point where we're almost at the dungeon. And you know, I play a little bit of the game so far, so let's go to the shop. Uh, I think it forces us to go to the shop. Let's see. Uh, so let's go to the dungeon. Hmm. Before we go to the dungeon, I think I should buy some supplies from the shop. Okay, so let's go to the shop. Why not? All right, as I enter the shop, someone smiles at me from behind the counter. Now that's someone I haven't seen in a long time. Oh my god, Starlet. She kind of re reminds me of a, a Sakura character. I can't I can't remember who, but she has the same kind of a, a, a one-headed, one-sided piggy tail. I don't know from where. Okay, whatever. I did not believe it when they said that you were back. Uh, well, I'm here. Uh, and what wonders good does my shopkeeper have to share today? Yes, I... <laughs> well... We've fallen in hard times since the new dungeon lord took, in over, took over. We currently do not have the capacity to make any particularly strong items at the moment. Uh, if you bring me mana shards though, I can make you some basic items. I hope that's enough to make you happy. No, I don't know. Since I am the owner of this town, I need to do an inventory. I want to take a look at your assets, if you guys know what I mean. I, oh, man. Oh, I, I, I want to take a look at her assets. Damn, look at her skirt. That is the shortest skirt ever. Holy shit. Oh, man. I love that little band right there. That, 
connecting her stocking to her skirt. Oh my goodness, that's fucking hot. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna check your uh, your 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 assets. I'm I'm your master. It's more than enough. You have kept things here nice and tidy even after hundreds of years. I am very proud of you, Charlotte. Ah, it's good to hear your kind words again, humble master. Yes. Uh, I've been saving this just in case you need it, but I think it would be better if you had it. Oh, is she gonna give me a dildo? She walks up to me and places something in my palm of my hand. It's a fucking dildo, isn't it? Look at it, there's like a couple, like half dozen dildos right here. Uh, warp stone. Ah. Same thing, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Fucking Vadiba, damn it. A warp stone, excellent. Thank you, Charlotte. You're more than welcome. Uh, bring back mana shards from the dungeon and I will gladly make you more. At the moment, the shop doesn't have a wide variety of items. As you progress through the dungeons, more items will become available. Make sure you to frequently check the shop and see what else is there. Okay, um, blah, blah, blah. Well, that, that, that doesn't seem like a lot of things we can buy. Well, we can't even buy anything. We have zero mana. Why the hell did the game tell us to go here to buy something? All right, whatever. All right, so let's go and explore the dungeon. I want to get at least one battle. In this episode, as we step towards the gate, Siri seems apprehensive. Is something the matter? Well, apart from everything that has happened, there just seems to be an, a sense of anticipation before you enter the first dungeon. You know, we could get our ass kicked and stuff, and you know, things might do stuff to our bodies. I don't know. Well, this seems to be the second time that the, this is the second time that I am entering. Well, technically, it is the first. My sealed my sealed chamber will, has long been cut off from the actual dungeon. I see. <laughs> so you're a noob. So Siri's been so oh she's a freaking noob. Anyways, let's let's not worry about that. Let's go take my dungeon back. Oh man, we have a freaking noob as our party. Why what why why do we take the other towns member? Alright, so let's go to uh so that's the inn and this is the entrance. So let's go here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. As we step inside, I can smell the uh, I can smell the earth and dust inside the, uh, uh, in the air. A dim darkness illuminated by a few spare torches spread out in front of us. I wonder in RPGs, who the hell keeps those torches lit up? I mean, torches probably last for like maybe an hour or two, so who keeps them up? That's so bizarre. It's all too familiar to me. It's good to be home. Uh, so before we get started, and there's just a few things that I would like to make clear, Yomi. Yes? If we're gonna work together, can we please approach this my way? Although you are very powerful, I do not know how much dungeon delving you've done. I, so I feel that uh, it would be best to use my experience here. As you wish. That doesn't make sense! I'm I'm the creator of this dungeon. The, the dungeon lord. How the hell does she, a noob, be the leader? That doesn't make sense! What the fuck, game? Am I happy? I'm, I, I, I'm here to simply provide guidance. What path you take is up to you. Strange words from someone who just enslaved me. Oh, you you don't know what the hell is enslaved mean. You know, wait till we get back to the end. I'm just kidding. Now, this is just a necessary part of our agreement. So what do you propose? She pulls out a bundle of papers and what appears to be writing a, a writing quill. Navigating a place like this is very a, a difficult task. You need a map to map out every little step you take. So uh, this right here is going to be like a mini map that she's talking about. It's far too easy to get lost if you do not keep track. Very well. Anyways, I will take point. All right, I, I, okay. So you, you, you take all the risk. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's get going. All right, so we don't need to learn. This is just tell, 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 telling us how to navigate the dungeon. So let's get started right now, right away. Oh man, look at these crystals right here. Man, look at them. They're freaking. Look, they look expensive. We should like take all these crystals right here. Now there is a. Oh wait, wait, wait. Now there is a mini map at the, at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. Okay. So let's see, uh, let's go. Okay, so it looks like we have our first battle here. Oh man, you guys are not gonna be disappointed. Well, actually, you might be disappointing how 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 you look at it. So let's go to the first battle. As we continue to walk forward, we hear a sound of something moving in darkness. Siri immediately reacts, ready her weapon to strike. Bit by bit, our enemy emerges into light of Siri's blazing torch. But again, you know, you you might be disappointed or you might be pleased with this um, battle. Who knows? We'll see. Ooh, oh, 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 damn, look at her. Holy shit, wait. Those those ears look like donkey ears. I mean, I think she's a rabbit, right? Yeah, she's called Bunny. A rabbit monster? Yeah, it's a freaking rabbit, but she has donkey ears. I've never seen rabbits. Well, actually, yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, man, look at her outfit. Damn, look at the fuck. She's wearing a freaking dog. Holy shit, she's the most skanky and slutty out of everyone so far. All right, let's get this. Oh man, look at the carrot! I'm gonna defeat you and stick that carrot where the sun doesn't shine. 
A rabbit monster? Aren't, aren't these notoriously weak? Nothing in this dungeon is at it as it seems. She has absorbed part of my power, so do not underestimate her. I, oh, I, I'm very sorry, but this dungeon lore has made it very clear that visitors aren't allowed. I am also very sorry, sorry but I cannot leave. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Alright, so let's go into the first battle. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to skip through the tutorial because I've done this battle already. Oh boy. So let's get this started. So I'm going to single slash you. Bam! <laughs> Alright. Now, of course, of course, they do retaliate. Now, obviously, she's probably not going to be able to kill us. And when we use the skill, we do take up AP energy. So let's do a slash again. Ah, oh, come on. Now, I'm trying to get... Uh, get her to lose her clothing. So let's do a slash again. All right, critical. Oh, -ho -ho! damn! What was that? What was that? Her freaking clothing ripped off. Oh man, but it's so quick. I could I couldn't see it. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god, her titties are fucking bursting out of her top. Look at that. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering why is she covering her underwear. That's kind of strange. I mean, it seems like she didn't mind battling bat battling us wearing that outfit, but all of a sudden she's covering her vagina and shit. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think it's torn or anything. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? I think this is a good place to stop. I'm Vadua. Well. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Of, what do you guys think about this so far? I mean, this is our first real thumbnail right here. That's kind of why I want to get to the first battle so we could get to this first thumbnail. This little bunny rabbit. You know, this is like the what the hell is that? Uh, Playboy. Yeah, Playboy. It's a great Playboy made. But anyways, I'm Vadua. Hope you sexy beast enjoy. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, especially the like button, because well, that that's to let me know if you guys want to see more of this series. Now the next episodes are gonna be having more dungeon trolling, more gameplay, and yeah. So let me know. You know, like, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter. I have a Steam group, and yeah, you know. So what do you guys think about this game so far? Let me let me know in the comment section below. And so far, who do you like the most? Siri, Yomi, Isabella, Charlotte, or the bunny girl right here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy, my fellow vote. No, don't say that. That's freaking Fallout. Anyway, stay sexy. Good morning, Takini. Don't you like it? It was a present from Sutan. Go, oh, man. Sutan is always giving these girls the wrong ideas. Why? Hey, hey, no. No, let, let me go. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to do this. It's so slimy and wet and no.